again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of RV Business Capital Talk, sponsored by Eric Sell. I'm Rick Kessler. With me, as always, Sherman Goldenberg. And joining the two of us today is a very special guest, and that's Gwen Sullivan. Gwen is the executive director of the Care Camps Foundation, and that's important because it's a new name. Gwen, thank thanks you for joining us. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for having me here. It was uh, almost a year ago when I sat with you two um, in, in this way before and just really appreciate you, you inviting me and Care Camps Foundation back. Very good. So tell us about the name change, please, because Care Camps has quite a good history and, and we've just recently changed the name. 40 years. 40 years. 40 years. Thank <laughs> you, Sherman, for calling that out because this is a huge celebration. This year for us is just, a, it's a banner year in that, yes, we are celebrating our 40th anniversary and we added foundation to our name. And the reason why, and I, I got to say, I give our board uh, just a ton of credit for this, um, for making this decision in that adding foundation really, really helps us better clarify the scope of our work and our mission to a broader uh, audience here. And also, it really helps us in uh, really charting um, a new course for our future as well. This might be a good time to take a step back and just give us a nice overview of what the Care Camps Foundation, what the mission is. And, and um, I mean, over 40 years, four decades of, of time, that's a lot of children that have been uh, on the good, the benefit of that. And Rick, I just, I, pardon me, Glenn, I just like to point out that at the same time that over the over those years, the recreation vehicle industry has become uh, with uh, care camps are, are kind of a special relationship. And uh, it's not just talk. It's a real deal. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Greg. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to dive more into that relationship in just a few minutes here for sure. So care camps foundation, you know, as uh, you all mentioned, and we're all shouting out um, the concept of care camps really started uh, 40 years ago with a few KOA campground owners that got together and said, hey, we want to really, you know, join together for a charitable giving cause. And thus, Care Camps was born. What we do and have been doing for 40 years now is funding pediatric oncology camps across the United States and Canada. That's our sole mission and purpose. And ultimately, through that here, you know, what, what we're all about uh, together is bringing more joy and hope and the healing power of the outdoors and community to children living with cancer and their families. And those children and their families get to attend a camp, some sort of summer camp of, uh, you know, for, I don't know the duration, but um, it's a chance for them to to live a, a normal life, get away from all of the doctors and nurses and everything else for about for a while. That's absolutely right here. And let me tell you a little bit more about these camps um, that we do fund. The camps that we fund are all members of the Children's Oncology Camping Association. Okay. And the reason why we uh, have really honed in on these camps and solely these camps are they are all engaged in a quality accreditation program. So we know that the money that we are giving to these camps are going to top tier quality camps who are absolutely committed and dedicated to the safety and the well being of the children that attend. And what's amazing about these camps, you know, people, yes, the majority of these camps and all of these camps do provide some type of outdoor you know, activity and, you know, with through their different camping programs here. And they'll do, you know, week long uh, outdoor, you know, uh, overnight programs. They also do day programs for those kids that, that can't do an overnight program. Um, they do family retreats where the whole family comes together, as well as it might be just a, a retreat for the parents with kids with cancer, and also the siblings, too. Mm. Uh, and so these camps, it's, 
And we, I think a lot of people just think we're, we're just, these camps are just focused on the kids, but it's really about taking care and supporting the whole family in this. And a lot of these camps too have really branched out. In addition to those kind of programs, they're also going in hospitals. Okay. They're going into pediatric oncology camp uh, clinics, um, as well as providing virtual camps for kids that might be homebound here. And what this does again is to to help these these children here have a better community of support. Very nice. And, and again, uh, Gwen, your organization doesn't run the camps. It it yeah. collects it 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 collects donations for an organization that does. Right, that's right. We wake up every day to fundraise to <laughs> fund these kids the camps, and then ultimately, you know, us funding the camps here. We're investing in the lives of these children here and their families, because many of the, the children that go to these camps, they come back and they become counselors and they're supporting, you know, the other kids here. And then they go on into their adulthood and they come back and serve as volunteers. And it is amazing. The, the camps that I visited this past year here, I saw that over and over again, that the majority of the counselors really were former campers here. So this is one of these things where, you know, yes, we're funding the camps. And ultimately, you know, it's about investing in the lives of these children. And, it, and again, uh, the recreation vehicle industry has been more than a minor player in all this with you, correct? Absolutely. You know, we started off here, KOA really launched care camps. And then 10 years ago, mm -hmm. um, the, uh, we became our own standing nonprofit um, organization, which really opened up the opportunity for more partnerships. And it was the RV industry. And and Sherman, I got to call you out too, because you and our former board chair, Wade Elliott, really helped open the doors for these partnerships uh, you know, within the RV industry. And I want to thank you um, a lot. And I want to really thank those that opened, invited us in here and who have you know, really generously um, donated and given to us. Well, I think it's not. Go ahead, Rick. Well, I, 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 maybe this is not uh, politically correct, but let's recognize some of those companies that have partnered with you from the RV industry. Uh, I think they deserve the recognition. I do too. And I appreciate that, that you all asking me that here. You know, I really want to call out, you know, Forest River here in, in Lippert and, and how they donate to us is through. Um, um, through a point of sale, percentage of sale um, that they provide us here, Patrick Industries here and um, and Thor um, provide corporate donations, and Campers NRV they have a, a real generous um, employee giving uh, campaign where their employees are you know uh, in, highly engaged in donating to care camps every month out of their paycheck. And then, um, then Campers NRV matches that every month. So um, I just want to, you know, those are our, our major uh, RV corporate donors here. And there's many others that have generously supported us too. And to, uh, in all fairness, uh, it's my understanding that KOA is still a, a, a mainstream supporter as well. They're really our bedrock here. Uh, you know, they're just, they're our legacy partner here and um, both, you know, KOA corporate and the campgrounds uh, all across the United States and Canada are are really involved with us. And there's actually, I, I, there's a, a, a some things happening in Canada too that I want to call out as well. The, um, the, the Canadian uh, RV, Camping and RV Association here. 
They are uh, just tremendous supporters of us, as well as the British Columbia Lodging and Camping Association, too. And they've got some upcoming events um, where they're they're supporting us. And there's more here, but I, I certainly want to call out our partners and friends in Canada. Um, the... Go ahead. Once again, I'm I'm talking too much. You go. You go. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's that's a, a very impressive list of company names. Um, congratulations and thank you to all of them. But let's not, that doesn't mean there isn't room at the table for more people to, to partner up. Um, consider this your platform. How can people get involved? Well, uh, just call me. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. Uh, no, seriously here, you know, ways that, that, that you can get is really about the industry here. And, and I, what I love um, about this industry is it's not about, you know, promoting each individually. It's about the industry coming together here. And, and Sherman, as you pointed out, the industry rallied here as we, you know, we're expanding out here uh, with our partnerships. Um, it was the RV industry that really ha has stepped up and stepping in and 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 really sticking through by us here through a lot of change over the past three, three years. So really, um, we are open here for just more creative partnerships here. Um, and, and seriously, you know, there's lots of different ways that um, that each company can get involved with us. And, and we're just looking forward to, uh, again, you know, being partners with the RV industry itself, even in strengthening those partnerships. Were there any events this year that you wanted to mention? Well, I tell you what, the one that I'm really looking forward to is happens to be a little event on um, May 9th called the RV Power Breakfast here. And uh, we're super excited about that and just really appreciate you including uh, Care Camps Foundation in your lineup uh, with that. So we're going to be there. Uh, myself, Patty Repetto, our development director, and Mark Lemoyne, our um, board chair, We'll all be there uh, and just looking forward to to meeting more, um, you know, seeing our, 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 our current friends and, and making new friends as well. Yeah. And also uh, there's um, KOA and just give KOA a, a big shout out here. They've got uh, their big weekend happening that's right here, the, the weekend after. Uh, the power breakfast. And so that is, they've really, and they've changed that up um, for this year in that participating KOA campground for big weekend, the second night of their 50% of the second night of their stay will be donated to care camps. Very so nice. it's just a tremendous offering here. And um, just mentioned the Canadian Camping and RV Association. They've got um, uh, their RV and camping week happening in May, May 21 through 26. And so they've got some fundraising events and platforms um, for, for donations for care camps. And the British Columbia Lodging and Camping Association, they were actually hosting a special auction for us um, in April and May. So there's, and there's more, more campgrounds um, beyond KOA are, are really um, getting involved in, in providing all kinds of wonderful fundraising opportunities for us. I know uh, we're, we're happy to have you at the Power Breakfast Um Gwen and her team will have a, a table in the lobby as people come in to uh, to get their name tags and table assignments. You'll also have uh, some time up on stage. And uh, I think what I'm most looking forward to is, is you're putting together a video so that we can see those uh, the smiling faces on all of those kids. Um, always brings a smile to my face too. Tell you what, and thank you for calling that out here because, you know, those days when, you know, they get a little hectic. And uh, as you know, uh, we all have those days. And I sit down and watch a two-minute video from care camps, and it resets everything. 
year. So we're looking forward to, to sharing all that with you all. Very good. Very good. Sherman? Uh, uh, at that, I think we've covered the ground we had intended to. How about you, Gwen? Yes. Well, I just want to say let's to be continued. We've got a lot more fun uh, and great news uh, and events and all kinds of things happening this year. And just a thank you both for all your support here um, and RV business, everyone at RV business here for, for just being by our side through it all. Very good. Thank Gwen, you. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, yeah. Also, we need to thank Eric Sell for their continued sponsorship. And uh, yes. we will see thank you, you. About, gosh, I guess a little over a month now, right? I know. I'm really looking forward to being back in Elkhart and seeing thank you. you. Thanks, everybody.